Uh, we are live. Uh, welcome. Welcome to Two Rights Make a Wrong. That is Daniel. That is Russell. Yeah, you did it correct this time. Yeah, uh, we're uh, improving. And well, um, welcome back to another episode. Um, with us as always, uh, we got uh, Jay Luther back there, and Lilo. Uh, Carl is not with us today. Carl is not with us today. Yeah, he had a mission uh, on the moon. Did he? Yeah. What's the mission? I don't it's top I w- secret. Yeah, I don't it's know. It's top secret. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay. Um. So anyways, how's it going? How are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm doing good. Yeah. Um. So one, one last time. I'm sorry, The Rock, but I'm abandoning you you there i said it that's so sad yep that's so sad um yeah that's it okay cool that's that's all we got that's all we got that's all we wrote thanks everyone uh join us next time on our next episode of two rights make a wrong yeah no but um but for real i i you know i don't know if you guys knew what we were trying to do but i think i'm done it was getting increasingly harder for me to insult the rock and then apologize and then apologize to him. to him yeah yeah all right and i think um i mean it would be nice to meet the rock still but i think uh my outreach is not going to be towards him as much okay who are you outreaching to well you know what chris de stefano i n- fucked his name up he's never going to come over here de stefano is that correct? Chris Stefano, Chrissy Chaos. Chrissy D. Hit us up. I recently heard him on a podcast. Um and one like one thing is for sure. He's a, he's a New York man. Right? You know who he is? Yes. So you don't. I think I might, but I'm not 100% certain. He's a comedian. He's a he's a, and he's from New York. And he really loves New York. Does he have like a really thick New York accent? Oh yeah. And does he have like really finely groomed hair? I think sometimes. I mean, it's a little shorter. Yeah, it's okay. a decent looking dude. Square face. Yeah, he's kind of got a. Oh, yeah, I think I think I know who you're talking about. Um. Yeah, but he's a funny dude. He's a comedian, and uh, but yeah, on a podcast, uh, on the JRE, he he said he wants he he wants to be and. They were in the middle of a conversation, so he was kind of. Uh, it was said really quickly, and they didn't discuss it more. And I'd like to discuss it with you, Chris. You said you want to be known as a New York man, but you also want to be known. You want to. You want to come to Milwaukee. He wants to be known as like a big, big time in Milwaukee. Oh well. And guess what? That's us. We also want to be known in milwaukee so let's let's do something here you know what i mean yeah because yeah i mean we can't do anything for you except for kind of harbor you here we can do the same thing the same thing we can do the same thing for you that you can do for us which is talk to each other and have a good time well yes we can do that we'll introduce each other to our friends and our lives and, Spot a cow. and uh we'll go yeah well, i don't know if he drinks anymore oh okay well then he can just look at it he can look at a spotted cow we got a couple different types of spotted cows you can just look at it's is that like a blue waffle thing too no that's no. like there's the beer and then there's like a legitimate bovine animal oh yeah the actual cow okay yeah we I got a it. lot of cows here I thought maybe that was some sort of innuendo or something. No, okay. I mean, <laughs> but if he wants, if he wants, <laughs> come on, Chris. All right, yeah. And also, wait. What? What else? Well, are you gonna say another person? Kinda, yeah. Well, but what just else? don't you kind of want to wait until you have the thing to be like, look. Yeah. So speaking of that, Bert, Bert Kreishner, my boy. Um, I really want to be sipping your vodka right here, right now. 
No, it is definitely not tequila. Okay, it's vodka. Okay. Yes, it is vodka because right. he drinks vodka. Okay. I this is my reach out to you. Um, I don't know if you can even do anything about it right now, but can't get it, my man. It's sold out. Congratulations! Is I'm really happy for you. Everywhere? Yeah, like you. C- I look. I, I, I mean, I guess to be fair, I could didn't you not find it or was it sold out? It's sold out. Oh, okay. Like, so people, so places bes- carry it. Besides the fact that I can't ship spirits to Wisconsin, it is sold out. I can't even like ship it to like maybe Illinois if I was allowed to. So. Okay. Like for me to even order it. Um, so let us represent that. Let us. I'll have that right here. We can have that right here. Every episode, we'll we'll drink some porosos made by Tom Tom Segura, who lived in Milwaukee oh. when he was a kid. Did he? Yeah, that's cool. I don't remember for it was a couple years, but he is a Milwaukee. He is a Milwaukee guy too. But Bert, you know, I know. You know, we're just getting bigger and better. I just st- stick with us. We'll be, we'll be better. Yes. So one day. Thanks, guys. Those th- that's my new outreach. Okay. Porosos and Chris Destafa. Just oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, De Stefano. Just De Stefano. De Stefano. I don't know why I can't say his last name Do right now. Do you know what his last name is? Yes, I could probably spell it actually. <laughs> And the nice thing is, too. No, you know what? Never mind. All right. Speaking of um, two bears. Yeah. Did you uh, happen to catch the Tom Brady roast? I did not. Okay. They were on it. Yeah? Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, they were... I know. I know one thing about that roast. What? Apparently... I don't even know what network, but somebody, they censored Kim Kardashian being booed. Uh, I guess they cut it. They maybe tried to censor it, but there is de- you could definitely hear boos. Fair enough. So they may have failed a little bit. Because um, it wasn't like just a whole crowd of people booing. But there was some boos in the background, you know. Okay. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I really wanted to, because uh, I watched it with uh, Jenna, and I really wanted her to like them when they got up on stage and to find them funny. And unfortunately... Tom and Bert? Tom and Bert. Unfortunately, they were the second least funny part of that. Did they bomb? They Well, the thing is, is that they're hilarious with interacting with each other. Yeah. And they just, they essentially were completely scripted. Oh. And... I mean, yeah. And they sounded scripted, and they were trying to interact with like an audience and it just didn't it didn't really work i wonder if they wrote all their jokes yeah i don't know if they did or not they may have they may have not but yeah but because i their podcast absolutely hilarious just watching them laugh at each other is is funny in and of itself yeah it didn't really didn't really hit so she was like oh yeah those people i'm like those are the people. <laughs> those, are, those are the people. <laughs> but the but the least funniest part was Ben Affleck. Oh, Ben Affleck. Yeah, because he essentially got I on. I love Ben Affleck. Yeah, they referenced Jersey Girl, by the way. Uh, that kind of <laughs> then it's then how is that bad? That's well, funny as fuck. Because he essentially just got on stage and started complaining about people, like random people on the internet, yeah, bashing on celebrities, and he just ranted about that. That's what he did. He, did, like he didn't a, tell a joke. He didn't roast anyone. He just he just ranted about that and then laughed. That sounds like that sounds appropriate. That, that sounds funny. Actually, that it, sounds hilarious. It wasn't funny. That um, sounds funny. Well, then I guess you're his audience. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> um, ben Affleck, what's up, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, Nikki Glaser was the best part. And yeah, she was hilarious. Uh, she's been on a lot of the roasts I've seen. Oh yeah, um, but she's she was really good. Um, yeah, but it was, it was fun. Who, uh, who else is on that? Do you know? Do you remember? Um, bunch of people you probably don't even a, you don't a, even know. A black lesbian named Sam. Okay. 
uh, overweight too. And the reason why I'm saying that is because they literally drove it home. She's like, I'm a triple threat. Like I'm overweight, black and a lesbian. Like she said it. So I feel like since th- she so was calling just, attention to you have to, to represent her as well. Yeah. Can we find out who that was? Well, uh, yeah, she made the joke that like Netflix is like, oh yeah, triple threat. We can check off three things on the box. Obese, black and lesbian. Okay. <laughs> so, Sounds good. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure who that was. One person. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, 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 Jeff Ross, obviously. Oh, yeah, obviously. Um, the roast ma- yeah. Who was the roast master? Uh, Kevin Hart. Okay. Yeah. G- fair enough. He was good. I, I he forget. Was I don't, I don't, don't, don't take this the wrong way, Kevin Hart. I, I forget he's a comedian. Okay. Because he's a movie star. Yeah. Right? So I, I forget that he has the comedy chops yeah a lot of the times not that a roast master needs to be a comedian per se but yeah still did you figure it out sam j she is okay. best known as a writer for snl okay. and then she has um her netflix comedy special three in the morning that came out in 2020 awesome and she's a co-creator and co-star of hbo series pause with sam j oh awesome. and a comedy series called Bust Down. All right. Yeah. Cool. Um, she was all right. Cool. But, I mean, it was really hard to follow. Nikki, like, she was, like, the first one up, essentially. Like, right at the beginning. And it was so hard to follow her. But I'm just, like, I kind of understand. Because th- it was kind of a slow-moving roast. Uh, and because they kept having... They also had athletes from the Patriots <laughs> there who were also doing roasts of tom brady as well that's funny so it was kind of slow moving and i kind of and it was three hours long and i actually imagine it would have been longer because there was people on the panel who didn't even do anything but they're sitting in the background just like like it's like they didn't get any of the jokes they're sitting in the background clear shot of them just being like so you're kind of making it seem like this wasn't like overall probably not even like well, it was supposed to be the greatest roast of all time says says who that's what it was called because he's the goat so it was supposed to be greatest roast of all time and it really wasn't so groat yeah groat it was a groat um but i feel like if they put nikki glazer glazer hey (laughs) let's fuck everybody's last name up (laughs) so i don't feel so bad with chris if they if they put nikki glazer on any later than a half hour into the roast though Mm-hmm. I feel like people would have just turned it off. But people were like, but sh- they opened with her. She was absolutely hilarious. So they're like, oh, maybe there will be something else funny, this this roast. Because we watched the whole thing kind of waiting for something else funny to happen, and it really it really didn't. Okay. Well, next time, guys. Next time? Next time. Yeah. Because apparently this was the first roast that they've done in like two or three years. Or probably something. a while. Probably yeah. since before COVID. Yeah. You know, COVID prevented a lot of people from being together. And then it kind of carried on for a while. It did. Honestly, you know what I think they could really do to just... (laughs) Don't uh, um, the ante is just like, (laughs) the next roast they do is just some random person that... Like, like, and I I don't mean like a B-list. I mean like some average person with like a regular... Like the roast of Carl or just... (laughs) (laughs) Is that what t- t- today is? Actually, we could roast Carl. We could do like a special roast Carl right now for his birthday. When's his birthday? Well, I mean, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's coming up. <laughs> Are you guys in frame, by the way, in the computer? Yeah. Cool. Um, we'll We'll find out. If we can keep that in or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. What's his address and social security number? Yep. <laughs> Lilo, don't. Hold on, hold on. I got in my notes on my phone. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, it's his birthday. So this is kind of like his birthday. I'm sorry. All right. so either of you have a birthday coming up? I Mine. feel bad. I had a birthday once. <laughs> Okay, and so Only he n- doesn't have a birthday anymore. <laughs> My birthday is at the end of May. At the end of May. That's what I thought. I just, okay. Because I know so many May May babies. Mm. So maybes. many maybes. <laughs> I know a bunch of maybes. <laughs> that was a pretty good one. Um, 
so so happy birthday carl we may well we might end up recording before your birthday again or on your birthday or somewhere around there we'll have another birthday episode for you yeah or we should just do one that will be released one three months after his birthday yeah one special one special episode just of, of us saying of, happy birthday. For everybody's birthday. Well, it's kind of like the office episode where Jim tries to do one party it's, for everyone. It's your birthday. And it, it's your birthday. That's for Kelly. That was a different one. Yep. It's your birthday. Yep. We'll do that for two rights make a birthday. Okay. For everybody. Yep. Speaking anyway. of which... Uh, did you guys see that they're making new episodes of The Office? I don't think that's probably gonna not. I don't. You don't think sure that's, that's good. You don't think that's gonna be a thing. I'm not sure if it's real. Um, actually, from what I heard, I don't know if it's going to be officially The Office. It does sound like the gang is trying to get together to do something. Like the the actors, they are getting together to do something. But what I just saw is the creator of The Office, okay. whatever his name happens to be, apparently he is doing a new show and it exists in the universe of The Office. Okay. So, like, there might be crossovers or something like that. And now is this the creator of the the U.S. one or of the U.K. one? That, I don't know. I'd have to, I wish because I knew we were going to bring up The Office, Because those exist actually. in the same universe as well. Do they? Yeah, because the, I, I can't remember his name. David? The creator? No, I think it was David. I can't remember what his name was, but the the creator? No. Okay. The Michael variant in the UK office oh. interviews for the job when Michael's leaving. Oh yeah, that's right, Ricky Gervais. Yeah, Ricky Gervais. But I don't know what his name is in the show. I can't remember. Was it David? I thought it was David. David. I don't remember. Some. I could be completely wrong. But yeah. Um. So yeah. So those are in the same universe. Oh, that's cool. Yep. But yeah, apparently they're doing. He's doing another show. I think. Okay. Is what I is what I heard. Pretty cool. Yeah. It is David, by the way. Nice. David Got Brent. It. Got it. Yep, David Brent. David Brent. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. I never got around to checking out the other offices. No, I am. Oh, and speaking of Will Ferrell, um, because he was in that show for three horrible episodes, um. Uh, Ron Burgundy made an appearance at the roast, too. Well, that's good. Yeah. How did that go? It wasn't funny. (laughs) I think I should watch the roast. Let me watch the roast, and then I'll tell you guys what isn't (laughs) isn't funny, because apparently you just don't have a sense of humor. I do. Anyway. It's just not me. (laughs) (laughs) I really hope that was picked up on camera. Jerk. Or a camera, <laughs> mic. We have like sixty-eight cameras now. We have three. Four. It's all right. I think Lilo's eventually got a bone to pick with you, anyways. So. Me? No, with you. Right. Oh, okay. If yeah. you want, if you want to tell about it, put the mic a little bit closer, and we can, yeah, totally get that. So, I listened to Cowboy a Cowboy Carter, and I I disagree. I don't think it's trash. What's a Cowboy Carter? Cowboy Carter, Beyonce's last album. Oh, it is absolute trash. I think in general we should move away from saying something's bad when we don't like it because it's you don't have to like it but to say it's trash i think that's i think that's wild it's not bad at all you're being too nice about this here's also what i have to say about this and i say this all the time just because you like something doesn't mean it's good correct correct that is correct um because to me because to me popular music popular music is bad music because it's not creative. It's they do the same thing over again. It is cookie cutter. So it's not good music. It's catchy music. And I do enjoy catchy music. But it's not good music. Well, what makes something good then? Uh uh being highly proficient and skillful at it and being different and not being able to hear it in 78,000 other songs. See, but that's your criteria. <laughs> yeah. No, but that's 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 my career criteria to consider it something good. Yeah. Fair enough. Like, to, to be, consider something good. It needs to be different. It needs to be proficient. It's not some like, again, using the same four pop chords that you can play. Like, 
the people, the comedians, and so many other people is just like where they do the thing where we can sing, all right, uh, like any of these '90s songs with the same chords, and it's and it sounds they're just all the same. All right. So here's wait, no, wait, hold on. First, I challenge you. I'm gonna make it easy. We're gonna make a punk song. So I challenge you three chords. You create a new three chord pattern, sir. That sounds good. Go. Why? why? I'll give you. Why am I only allowed to use three <laughs> yeah, chords? I give you do, ten no, weeks. But why am I only allowed to use three chords? Because because I figured it'd be easier for you. <laughs> well, see, well, that's the thing. Why why three chords? Like go with four. Then. But why only four? four? That's because. Because what I'm saying is to make good music, you should be able to use all of it, and you should be able to know how to use all of it. Have understanding of like the music theory and how things flow and going from one thing to another and all kind of stuff. Like, that's that's kind of what makes good music. So here's why I disagree with that. Okay. First off, um, it's really easy. It's really easy to build a Ferrari when you have a Ferrari factory, but you're often more often than not if you come across somebody and they're like. Oh yeah, I just built this hot like, th- like, th- this really really top of the line like race car that can outrace anything in NASCAR, and I did it completely in my garage. You're gonna be way more impressed by that. You expect quality out of a Ferrari factory. See what that's so well. I so I, the way I, I, I under- relate that. Sorry, go ahead. I understand your analogy, but I'm also gonna kind of poke holes in it a little bit. Well, that's because why the, I was gonna because because con- the Ferrari will be able to do that race. Over and over and over and over again, making it a good car. Yeah. And the one that was built in the garage will not be able to do the race over and over and over again. It might be a fast car, but I'm not going to say that it's a good car. Now, let me poke holes in that. So here's the the thing. You're assuming the car built in the garage won't be able to do that for for the sake of your argument. Now, the point I was going to make, two big things now. One. Some of the best music that exists even to this day was done with very, very minimal, you know, you know, effort and whatnot. With not very minimal effort, that's not the word I was looking. For. With very mi- limited supplies, when as a matter of fact, whoa, whoa, that's whoa, been whoa, the whoa, whole hold entire. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because now you're talking about supplies. I never said anything about supplies. Well, one, I'm just trying to talk. Um, <laughs> but um, two, like for. Uh, you, but that was the whole point of my analogy in the first place. Was uh, the first off, the person with who built their car in the garage probably didn't have nearly as many tools and supplies as somebody in a Ferrari factory. So that's all re- You know, uh, that's already part of my point. But two, here's the biggest thing that, and I feel like this is one place where maybe we can find some common ground. The only thing that can truly determine whether or not something actually was or wasn't good is time. Because every year, every decade, we always have plenty of artists. You can even go all the way back, like the, uh, you know, before the internet was a thing, and stuff like that. And like, you know, oh, it's like, you know, Queen was, you know, really popular back in this day, or whatever. You know how many bands were probably trying to make it back then that never did, that did not stand the test of time, that maybe saw fifteen minutes of fame and whatnot. It's the same cycle that happens every year. Well, the only see, way to determine that is time. Yeah, oh, I, well, I, I still would disagree, and that's fine. If we have different definitions of what makes something good, that's totally fine, right? Because right. what you're saying is if people like it long enough, that's what makes it good, which I would disagree. If people like it, that doesn't mean it's good, kind of like his point. Just because you like something doesn't mean it's good. Right. Popular <laughs> people, popular music – is popular music the stuff you hear on the radio is usually the least intricate music and takes the least amount of skill to replicate and perform and i'm not, and and i'm not necessarily disagreeing with and that. so that's what i mean by good is is if if someone with a basic ability to play guitar can pick up a guitar and play your music that doesn't i would say that's that's probably not good music catchy music popular music absolutely but I would never be able to play what you play on the guitar, Jay. You are good. You play good music. And I will never be able to play what you play on guitar. 
Right. Well, and I think what the funny thing for uh, for that is, and I don't want to hark on this too long and whatnot because I don't want to interrupt you guys. But here's the thing: like the amount of times I've told people, it's like you know, when I first started playing guitar, like you know, I you know, I knew what I wanted to. I was you know, ripping and shredding. You know, it was all like virtuosity and hey, look what I can do. I don't care about any of that shit anymore because uh, I've gotten and d- dare I, uh, sorry if I sound a little lead, dare I say I've of elevated to a point where. Uh, virtuosity, you know, like whether or not how many chords you use or, you know, how fast you're playing and stuff like these are all just tools, which are a means to an end, which is to deliver a message. Did your song get its point across and was it able to relate to people in a way where they went, wow, I feel understood by this uh, by this thing? If that's the case, I uh, personally and, and we'll throw it out there personally i think that's good art because that's another point i actually made a while ago too that um that i've been trying to tell people one uh, first off and this is something that might actually kind of help your point a little bit people don't actually listen to the best artists they listen to artists that communicate their art the best uh, oh, I, I di- don't disagree with you and i guess this is where there's a nuanced difference in what we're talking about right i never said that the music you hear on the radio is bad art right right so i'm drawing a line a, a dif- differentiation line between art and music. Mm. Like I'm looking at, at it strictly as music. And one of the things that I really think is the people who make the best music as far as good music that what I would consider good music are people who make music for themselves because it's something that they enjoy and it's entertaining to them and they don't necessarily care how many other people end up enjoying it. And that's typically what ends up being like good music to me. Right. Um, so yeah, so again, uh, like Taylor Swift, right? I'm not a fan of her new stuff anymore. We talked about that on, on right. one of the last podcasts, but I think she is a great artist because she is creating a, a feeling. But I don't, I don't think her music's good anymore. I used to think it was really good. I don't think it's good anymore. Um, but because it's just so simple and it's kind of repetitive. But she again, she creates this this world that people really enjoy and and to me that is good art so she is a good artist oh yeah no what yeah. taylor swift is really good at doing in spite of her b- now billionaire status and whatnot is that when you look at her music videos and whatnot you know she still makes music for the girl who's like you know singing lyrics you know into a hairbrush in front of her mirror you know she taylor swift is still really good at like being vulnerable and making herself like to, you know, she's not afraid to make herself, to, you know, to look like the fool, you know, like, uh, oh, I, you know, trusted this guy and he made me look stupid, you know, and stuff like And that's what makes her extremely relatable. And because of that, you know, she, you know, it's really easy for her to communicate that in spite of, you know, her music maybe not being to the same caliber that it used to be. I feel like Beyonce did that, too, with Lemonade, though. Right. Well, I think one thing to take into account is that. We have to keep in mind, like, it wasn't, uh, music isn't the way it was back in the day, like, you know, when it, when music first started becoming commercially available. There is not just a musical uh, component to it anymore. There's now a visual component that, you know, uh, is also taken into account and whatnot. And I think that's one thing people, uh, I don't want to necessarily say forget about, but don't take into account. Is like, you know, we, we are now in this digital age where, like, you know, it's almost not enough to, you know... There are rare instances where you can just drop a song with no sort of visual component to accompany it. You know, uh, nine times out of ten, there's got to be something else. And a lot of times, you know, maybe artists are, you know, like, you know, uh, also having to account for that and whatnot, too. I digress. I didn't want to go this far down uh, this rabbit hole. But um, ultimately, it is, you know, one of those things where, like, because, you know, what's going to happen? At the end of this entire debate, it's going to be like... Well, you know, uh, the, 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 that's your opinion, and this is my opinion, and now we're going to move on and uh, find some reason for us to apologize to The Rock about. So, No, we abandoned The Rock. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you Okay, you abandoned The Rock? Noted. This is what happens when you bring up any sort of opinion on music around musicians. People I do. Just <laughs> I do have to apologize. I don't know half of what you guys said. I disassociated. I felt like... <laughs> I felt like daddy hit daddy at the dinner table and I just had to zone out there. Yeah. 
So I don't know. I enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you made good points, and I don't. As did you. But like, and I don't disagree with the points you're making. It's just it kind of. Again, there's kind of a misrepresentation of what the comment of good music was. Right. And mm-hmm. and again, too, different definitions of what good even is. It's just we don't we don't mean the same thing. No one means the same thing. Words don't mean the same thing. Mm-hmm. Right. We just don't. Well, and it's it is one of those like, you know, it's basically the difference between you know that record was trash versus I thought that record was trash. Like. Yeah. It. it, it one of those subtle things, and also I. Uh, I just thought it'd be great to just uh, argue. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's kind of like the same thing with the roast. Like, it wasn't funny. But, like, I don't think I need to justify it by saying I, I didn't think it was funny. Because clearly someone thought it was going to be a good idea to do and someone thought it was a good idea after it was made because it was released. So people, excuse me, found it funny. And hell, I was going to say, in hell, somebody thought it was funny. Yeah. I mean, I think the idea of Ben Affleck just getting up there and just <laughs> complaining about online commenters is actually fucking hilarious <laughs> and just walks <laughs> off i hope he like had a cigarette in his fucking hand that at, like he just la- like, lights it as he that fucking meme. walks off stage he's, and he's that ben like, affleck meme and he literally went outside and was like oh, they oh leaned yeah that into it yeah. see they just he didn't he didn't do that he leaned into it there, i there, hope there he was, did that that's, that sounds <laughs> he funny didn't, um, he didn't do it <sighs> but yeah yeah anyway What's up? Not not much. Yeah. I mean, clearly Beyonce was going through something. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> she put out a country album. Okay. No. Technically, she... She had even said herself, it's not a country album, it's a Beyonce album. Yeah, okay. And Beyonce is a pop star, so I think when she says that, we should still expect it to be technically a pop album. Okay, um, yeah. But, it, but um, I, I mean, know, I mean there's there, genres, there, though, and I, I just I don't think someone can just claim that this isn't that when there are genres that fit a structure. I mean, but like, did, a lot of country it, is played she on she the She doesn't pop get to stations. define what it is. I don't think she gets to define what something is if oh. she's following the structure of something else. I feel like but she's how much, the only how one well that is she gets following to define the structure, what it is. Though. Huh? Did you listen to the whole album? No, but I also it? don't think that I – I also don't think I said the album was trash. The songs that no, were I'm, like Texas Hold'em or whatever, I said that stuff was trash. Now I'm going to have to listen to Cause it. Because she covered – she covered Jolene by Dolly Parton, who Dolly had said herself that she wanted Beyonce to cover it, and she also covered Blackbird. I don't know. I thought it was. Wait, she's a the, vocalist. The, the Beatles song. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like that's not even a country song. Exactly. Right. That's so. why she was saying it's not a country album. It's yeah. a Beyonce album. She was kind of just doing what she wanted to do, right. but with these other elements that she doesn't usually use. Right. But it's like, but it's like if she just like all of a sudden like learns how to play violin and puts out like an orchestra album uh, with no singing. She can't be like, this is not orchestral music. This is a Beyonce album. She can't do that. Speaking of that, <laughs> Andre 3000, his flute album. She's going to learn how to play a trumpet and then be like, this isn't a ska album. It's yeah. a Beyonce album. <laughs> That'd be dope. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, but you also know what? like, I'm that just... would actually work so well. Do a ska version of single ladies. Could you imagine? Her? <laughs> <laughs> that would work out amazingly. I think you should do a ska version of single ladies. I don't know how to play the trombone. Do we have a trombone? We back do here? have a trombone down here. Cool. It Get can't it. be that hard learn to how learn. To play trombone. It can't be hard to learn a trombone. A trombone? Yeah. No, a trombone is actually that's so is actually one of the harder instruments I learned how to play. So that's like. Oh wait, so you can play it? Yeah. You can, can help us then. Yeah, but no, but he's he's the one who made up that choreography. That was great. Then teach. I didn't make it, up that then choreography. You can teach that's him. Single ladies, but with a trombone. But I was just sitting down. That was a lot. We're about to revolutionize the music industry right now, you guys. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Speaking of good music, make sure <laughs> here, actually check we, out our shit, guys. Just, on Spotify now. Do, do we have to? I think we have to look this up. Can somebody please see if there is a ska version of Single Ladies uh, out there right now on YouTube? There might be. Because I can't imagine why a trombone player doesn't hear Single Ladies and go, I can do that with this thing. Yeah. I just can't believe that Slipknot has nine members and didn't manage to be a ska band. 
Oh. Yeah. I see a video that's titled, If Blink-182 Wrote Single Ladies. Mm, I don't want to hear. I think, I think I know who that does. I think I know who that is. I, I think I know who that does. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> they have a bardcore version of it. Barncore? Bardcore, like oh, many Oh, bardcore. <laughs> Sweet. Oh. That's cool. Yeah. No, Scott. So we we have okay. our in guys. We can we can do this. Yeah, so there is yeah. no Scott. Right, Big version. D at the kids' table. Come on down. Help us out. Yep. Yeah. Um. Oh, what else? What was I? I was thinking else something. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I was thinking else something. I just, I think I had a stroke right when we pressed record. Like, I can't speak today. I can't even say people's last names. I'm not even going to try to attempt. That's good. Attempt it. <laughs> you got anything else right now? Um, We need to dye your beard. I don't want to dye my, or I mean, I, I would dye my beard, but I don't want to because it would, it, beard hair is very, finicky hair and very fragile hair and needs to be taken care of very well it looks psychotic and my beard looks like yes well because there's so many different colors in it i was just looking at it today you, it's like red for the most part but when you look at it you it's not even uniform it's not even like a nice like shaped pattern it's like literally you got like these two oddly shaped huge black patches of like black brown yeah and then it just like kind of goes underneath everything here yeah. it's psychotic it's a lot of different colors yeah yeah what color would you dye my beard then <laughs> one color gray uh, not why not gray yeah Our, everyone should have their hair go gray everyone no, that's weird you could dye your beard gray see but again i just don't want to dye it because it's damaging dying is <laughs> and dye going gray is i think you should leave it because it's unique thank you milo yeah Sorry, I like Russ. your beard too. Thank you. You're welcome. I worked real hard on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard you have to give compliments back when you get a compliment, so you don't have to, but it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> um Yeah, your beard looks terrible. I know I need to shave. Yeah. Are you gonna shave or are you gonna just trim it down? It's the same thing. Do it's just trim it. Well it's different. <laughs> because shaving is shaving and trimming is trimming. There's still hair left when you trim. I, I put the guard on the razor and I smash it against my skin and it's just done. Okay. It's just shaving. Getting that it's the same chin thing out. every every time. You guys haven't seen him with his double chin yet, but I'm looking at the wrong camera. I'm looking at a camera that's not even pointing at me. Um but yeah, but if he shaves I have a double chin. We're gonna get a great we're gonna get a zoom up on it. I mean, I'm not shaving. No, but I'm telling you, that's well. No, I'm making a point here. That's actually one of one of the main reasons why I haven't shaved in. Because you have a double chin from t yeah, punk I don't, ass no, bitch. I don't want to find out that I do have. Yeah, one. you probably do. <laughs> you probably do, dickhead. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to find out that I do have one. That's that's exactly yeah, why. No. Now we're just gonna dye it to look like you have a triple chin. How's that even a thing? Yeah, we're just gonna dye it skin color and then kind of put a little shading in. There's makeup artists that'll do it. All right, it's a highly skilled team waiting. <laughs> are they? No. And here they are. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. With what was the guy we introduced? Oh, what's that guy? I was gonna say I was gonna introduce him again. Carl? No, on the one episode we like said, oh, and here he is, the one actor or whatever, and but he wasn't here. I don't remember. It was probably <laughs> The Rock. It wasn't The Rock. It was some other person. Um, Patrick Swayze. Oh, wait, that'd be <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, do you know, and I, well, no, this would be better with Carl here, so never mind. I'm not going to ask. No, him. just say it now. No, I'm not going to ask. I'm going to wait for Carl. It's way better with Carl. Carl needs is about Pokemon. Carl needs to be here. Oh. So you're like, yeah, he should be here. So. I don't know. I mean, I don't know about that. It's a, it's an interesting thing you say that. Why? I don't know. Okay. 
has anyone here? <laughs> has an, has Moving the, on. Has anyone here? Can we talk about Digimon? Heard there's supposed to be a live action Digimon coming. Ugh. Go on with your question. <laughs> um, has anyone heard? Uh, anyone? Okay, go. Uh, heard of a booty? being referred to as cake before yeah. yes okay where is there a place that this came from literally like the internet the past 10 years i don't know where yeah. it came from but like, like yes i i've heard could, that term many times. The internet. i bet we could uh like trace it back to some sort of rapper okay as a rapper okay because uh <laughs> so funny story uh a co-worker of of, of mine has a daughter or a son and she got an email from a teacher, and her son's like five or six years old. Apparently, he walked up to a female student and just slapped her butt and said, I like that cake. And then just like walked away. And she's like, I have no idea where he got this from. Like, where did he learn this? And then the other things, like, where did he learn this? When she's like, uh, son, we need to have a talk. He goes, I know. You know what you did was wrong, right? I know, but my brain made me do it. I didn't want to, but my brain made me do it. It's like, so where did he get that from, too? Like, just where does where does this five year old just learn that? The, f- the like, internet was it today? That five year old probably has like seven years worth of internet scrolling experience. <laughs> like, I mean, it's I just don't know. ingrained in these people's fucking brains. It might be. That yeah. five-year-old probably could get into your iPhone. I, I doubt it. They're weirdly smart. Mm-hmm. Are they? Yes. Okay. Yes, they are. All right. Okay. Good talk. So did we find like did we find an origin for I like that cake? Not yet. I'm looking. All right. Probably from, I don't know. Which rapper do you think it would be from? I have no just idea. Some, probably not even somebody that's known. Okay. I bet it was just a rapper from out of some random city like Detroit that probably made a mixtape. And it just fucking popped. Like, people just started saying it. Like, a lot of vernacular and slang came from the fucking rap community in the streets. You know, especially the rap community, because, like, they're always trying to do wordplay. Wordplay to rhyme and everything like that. So, like, That's you know, true. when something really fucking hits, it becomes a common a common phrase. That's true. Right. You know? Yeah. It, it, it only has been, like, since five or ten years that people's slang has been come from memes now. People just meme. Instead of fucking saying things, I guess. So that's annoying. Um. So yeah. So got anything else? I don't know. Maybe. I wasn't expecting to do this. We were just talking. Yeah. No, not right, not right now, not not anymore, okay. not after everything. How everything has gone. Great. Did he just say something and I completely didn't clock it? Because it sounded like a bunch of sounds, and then you just started talking again. Well, he asked me if I had anything, and I was looking at my phone to see what my list was. Yeah, so there was a bit of silence that we will edit out <laughs> when we don't have to, <laughs> unless we can edit out the silence and make Jay look crazy. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Because if there's no silence and all of a sudden he's just like, did you? <laughs> you know, he's like, what just happened? I thought there was a bunch of silence. I thought I went deaf. <laughs> you know? Yeah. We'll just, we can actually like move that to a completely different area of <laughs> just that, <laughs> just that isolated statement. Have him saying it as someone's talking. <laughs> have him say, have him say it in the middle of like, when you two were talking about music (laughs) (laughs) in the middle of it perfect right well i just we just got back from vacation again yeah you're always on fucking vacation how are we always on the last vacation was thanksgiving 
did feel like yesterday. <laughs> Look, that was a while but ago. But that's like two vacations in six months. Okay. But that's the, a pretty we, but long... We just, we that's just went that's to, a lot of vacations. We just went to Michigan for a few days. Okay. For a long weekend. That's still a lot of vacations. Like, geez louise. Um, but... Uh, um, but we went to the one interesting thing. We went to this distillery called Journeyman okay. uh, Distillery, and it's in this old industrial building. But the industrial building was for it was originally for stays in corsets. OK, so we learned this. But the uh, the owner of that originally back in the day was the biggest proponent proponent. That means they are favor They're, they're in favor of it. Right. Sure. They're their biggest proponent of prohibition so i think it's hilarious that this building that was like made by this guy who was fighting for prohibition is now turned into a distillery i thought that was pretty cool so you're saying somebody that has a distillery is it was it was it used to be a distillery no it's not like in the, i think it's like 10 years old or something like that i bet now. that guy had his own distillery the prohibition guy yeah no, I don't yeah. think he did. Mm-hmm. Based on the stories, he did. He no. I, be, I bet he did. It'd be cool. That's okay. what I would do. All right. He had a corset company. I bet he was making bank. Yeah, he was hiding all the booze in the corsets. There's no room inside corsets for booze. Uh, that's exactly the point. Like, like what's in there? Oh, it's just a bunch of corsets. Definitely not a lot of beer because the corset. Tied them all together, made it really skinny. I really like to see the organs of that lady. It's not a lady; it's just corsets. He's selling corsets, not people, right? He had a corset company. Well, no, he just not. A, he, was it a brothel? He really just put the stays in the corsets, but yeah. Um, but what do you? But now, where are you going to? So, where is this going to be? They're hollow. So now, yeah. so there's a bunch of beer, right? A case of beer. <sighs> okay. You put the corset around it and tighten it. It is now a lot smaller. And now you can transport a lot more beer than you originally could. And now no. it looks like a corset. So you you so you know that like liquids can't compress? Liquids are uh fill any shape that Yeah, but you in. said it would be smaller. It wouldn't be smaller. It would just it would be the same size just in a different shape. Yeah, just like a person. Wait, so are you pouring the beer out of the what do you? Get yeah. Dana what? Into what the is this? <laughs> <laughs> you need to like explain a little bit more because no. it's kind of bad. <laughs> no, I think you guys got it. It's a case of beer. Course it around it, becomes skinnier. <laughs> the case. So we're making the case skinny and curvy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It now the case has curves. Okay. It looks like a corset. Yeah, but and now he can sneak it. But Everywhere. you're not sneaking it because it's because not. It's it's a. It, you can clearly see that it's wrapped around beer. But it's a cl- corset. So you can see inside the corset. That's why he from yeah, You can see yeah. <laughs> corsets are hollow and also not very. But they're heavy. not see through. They're hollow. They're not. They're not see through though. They're not clear. You can see through the top of the corset though. They are. <laughs> yeah, but only the top of it. So you just. <laughs> <laughs> yes you got a bunch of them you're delivering if it's a store you're delivering you're making a delivery of a bunch of corsets this is the most innovative man i know <laughs> this guy right this is what i'm saying <laughs> no i want this see is how this. you smuggle things i'm gonna see you do this i, I wanna, love we're gonna this buy we're gonna buy some cor- warehouse of corsets i don't but i can get some we're getting some corsets and you're gonna smuggle beer with it you're gonna show us how this is done because i cannot <laughs> well you're no. gonna know because you're gonna be like oh well russ has a bunch of corsets clearly <laughs> <laughs> no, but, <laughs> <beer. no. laughs> but i could be like we'll try to get past mom or something but like no i'll be like russ <laughs> <laughs> Can you try to imagine that? <laughs> yeah. What if we get two corsets, one with, gonna, a, with beer and one without? And she's like, I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> she's used to it by now. Fair enough. So what was your idea? <laughs> I said we could get one corset that's just a corset, and then we get one for the beer, 
and then we can see which one. Oh, so like, just we, see if it's passing. So just to see which one. People. Can we tell? Yeah, can, can you tell? Yeah, you, we're going to go out in public. Where's the We're going to have a special episode out in public where we're just going to be asking people on the streets, can you tell which one has beer in it? <laughs> Clearly the beer bottle. Ross. <laughs> I something. There's gonna be one corset with no beer in it, another corset with beer in it. And we're just gonna have them on a table. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're gonna see which one. Can you tell which corset has the beer in? Yeah, we're just gonna see how many. Beer. Neither of them. They're just gonna look over it inside. Like both a- corsets. What do you mean? <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this is the last episode because Dan is going to pass away right now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Are you crying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. God damn. <laughs> I'm really glad none of you followed my brain on that one. We tried. And then to. I didn't follow you. <laughs> like, we were taking our own paths and that's I, okay. I'm sweating. <laughs> I am drenched. I'm sweating so much right now. <coughs> Is there an unopened bottle of water? Uh, would an open? Why does it have to be open? an unopened bottle. So I, I don't get cooties. You said unopened. Oh, I thought you said I thought you said opened. I didn't know you said unopened. <laughs> Thank you. I was like, why are yeah, you um, specifically asking you for unopened? Uh, just do it again. I'm fine. I'm sorry. It's uh, fucked. All right. <laughs> All right, well, that was fun. <laughs> Don't start. Don't start. <laughs> Drag racing. What? It's like prohi- prohibition. Did you say drank racing? Drag racing. Oh, okay. Right, because prohibition, like, okay. the, 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 the rum runners, like, that's what started NASCAR. The corsets in Port Prium, Britain, that's drag racing. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, I don't. I don't even know anymore. It's okay. All right. Cool. So where where do you want to go from there? I don't try. Even try. Know. See, that's why I, I looked at my list and I was like, I nothing I have is gonna go after what we everything we've talked about. I don't I don't know. I don't know. All right. You guys think, have anything? I was going to say I uh, no, I I think you guys might be done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to say uh thanks. Thanks for Guys, we can we uh thanks for another episode. That was uh that was fun. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time. On uh, two rights make a wrong. Like the video, subscribe please. Um Oh, and turn on notifications if that's still a thing. Because people are telling me that they're not getting notifications. So, yeah, yeah turn, turn on turn notifications. notifications. Isn't there, like, the notification bell? Like, oh, yeah, bells. I didn't see it on mine. Though. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not paying attention hard enough. I get notified when you when you do the shorts. Because I tell you, hey. No. No, I know. I know. But, yeah, so thanks, everyone, for watching. Bye. And comment on things. Yeah, comment, please. Do you think you could tell which corset has beer in it? Let us know. Got the giggles at the end there.